Pio, you a state dinner after uh, at 2020 zero turnovers? I hope. I hope he had no turnovers. No turnovers. First time in NBA history. <laughs> Who's a legend? Man. What, what do you think is a bigger accomplishment, the the no turnovers or the, or the 20 assists? Um, well, we've seen CP, you know, have high. Uh, assist numbers, but to have no turnovers in a game like that, where we kind of were all over the place, the ball was hopping all over, and um, we shared the ball. For him to have no turnovers, that was, that was pretty huge. You uh, you saw Chris, it looked like, take a shot from Ashik in the first half. I think that was in the first half, and you kind of went over. No, that was Austin. Well, that was in the second half. Oh. See, he's pretty tough. He's all right. I guess that's what I'm asking. It's like, you know, Austin, guys were trying to help him up, but it was clear that he was down. Is that kind of a scary thing when a guy gets a shot to the head like that? Yeah, yeah, it's always tough and scary, especially, you know, with everything that's going on. But um, I'm just happy that he was able to get up with his own two feet and walk up out of here. He tried to come back in the game, which was which was crazy. And then, um, you know, when he, when he came back in, he wasn't right, you know, with the lights and the screaming. But um, he looked pretty good, and he was um, – he remembered his birthday, so that was, that was, that was good. Did you quit him? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure that was his birthday? <laughs> I don't know. I just, know I just asked for I just asked for your birthday. He said something, so I'm glad he said I, he didn't give me like the like today's date, so I'll just you know, I'll, I'll pass to him. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of seemed like a fun night for you guys. It seemed like everyone was just sort of enjoying it. Uh, maybe. Um, um, yeah, I think that uh, you know with us coming off of you know two losses, that was that was pretty tough. But tonight we were pretty desperate. And, um, yeah. you know, Chris came out there and led us the way that, you know, he always does, especially with Blake being out. That was also tough. Um, but yesterday in practice, we went over um, moving the basketball and uh, just sharing in the spirit of the past. And tonight we did that. That's why this guy had 20 assists tonight. First assist for you, I, I think, was Blake's first assist. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in a game, um, you saw your jersey coming. Yeah, no yeah. turnovers in the past. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like that's just course correcting, then, right? With right. turnovers and stuff that right. yeah, you were due. Right. Um, what did it feel like out there tonight for you? Did it just things just look? I mean, did things feel as easy as they look? Um, uh, somewhat. We, like you said, we had a really good practice yesterday where we just moved the ball. Um, that was focused on going down. You know, like I always say, with assists. Uh, I have the easy part passing the ball. The guys got to make the shot. So DJ uh, caught a couple for dunks. Uh, Mo hit a lot of threes, and so did JJ. So, so the first record, you were the second player in Clippers history to have 20 points and 20 assists. And then I asked DJ the same question: What what means more to you, that or the zero turnovers that you finished with? Um, the turnovers. The turnovers. That's that's the first thing I look at every game. You know what I mean? How many turnovers? I've got many texts in games because I got a turnover or something like that. that I didn't think was a turnover. I think like as a point guard, I'm like the quarterback, so turnovers are like interceptions. And when you got as much offensive power as we have, anytime I get a turnover, that took away that opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sure. appreciate it. Chris, talk about your floor leadership. You were reading the floor pretty well. In fact, in the second quarter, about the third minute, three minute mark, you took over. You with uh, dunk for DJ. You drove. You had a three pointer. What were you feeling out there as far as control factor? Uh, we were just running the same play over and over again. To tell you the truth, and we had the court open. Paul was out there. DJ was in there, and then DJ went out. Paul came. Uh, you know, having DJ and having Mo give teams issues, you know, because one minute they're out there trying to tag and stop the dunk, and then they're out there, you know, trying to get out to the three-point line. So I think us having the ability to change it up is uh, something that's good for us. Chris, uh, earlier today, Carmelo Anthony said that he's kind of skeptical that the Players Association and the owners can agree on a new CBA by Thursday's deadline. Did he? You sure? Yeah. I called Melo earlier. He didn't answer. Um, so <laughs> that was they here. <laughs> no, I'm saying they're here in town. Yeah, I was trying to yeah he said it at uh, practice today. So uh, I got to see. I got to read it before I can. But, but as the president of the Pledge Association, what do you think of those comments and kind of what are your 
I mean, I, I haven't seen those comments. I'm not doubting that that happened, but, uh, you know, we, we were working tirelessly. Uh, you know, when we're not in the game, you know, we're trying to make sure uh, that we can, you know, reach an agreement, get a deal done. Because like I say all the time, you know, you guys, the fans, uh, deserve for this game to keep going on. Are you optimistic? Very, got to be, right? Why not? Did you help Austin in the locker room like you would kind of carry him? Yeah. Uh, what did you notice in that moment when he first, I guess, went down in the fourth quarter and picked it back up? Um, you just never know. You know what I mean? I got hit too. You know what I mean? You just never know. You got a whole head. <laughs> Probably. But uh, as a competitor, you know, you always want to give it a shot. You know what I mean? So he kept trying to play and then he finally realized he couldn't. So. Did you talk to him at all when you walked out with him? Uh, yeah, you know, what you remember, you all right, and stuff like that, then I let the people whose job that is take care of. Uh, Chris, just wondering, uh, just wondering, uh, did you expect the guys could get so, the offense going so well today with that Blake and with the, your losses and your schedule and all the things? Um, no question. I know what we're capable of. Um, you know, we're all professionals. When one guy goes down, another guy step up. And like I said, after our practice yesterday, everyone sort of knew how we were going to play. Uh, we knew we needed to play with the right pace and the right spirit, and we did that. Chris, um, you mentioned the shot you took in the first half. Um, well, I'm sure you've been hitting the head in games with the way that you play. How, how do you know? It, it's a, just um, a, a shotter that it's not man, something more serious? I don't know. You don't know until it hits you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, it's happened to me once uh, before, something like that. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I got a huge knot on the side of my head. So, yeah. Do you? My mom probably won't let me go to sleep for a little while. I was with what with what we know about head injuries and concussions now uh, being so different than probably when you guys started playing basketball. Do you, are you do you have to be cognizant of that? Got to be. Got to be. And I mean, uh, you know, guys know themselves, training staffs, and all that stuff like that. They have parameters in place. Doc right there in the back is going to be the one that's checking out Austin and stuff like that. We have baseline tests that we take and stuff like that. So, yeah. Mo, how does not have you going to the lineup? Um, how do you change your game up with that? Or do you shoot? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris, you're saying super, one of the superstars go out and that's man up. So, um, coach played a lot of guys tonight. Everybody was cutting the court, did some. So, like you said, we had a good price last night, yesterday, in the karaoke. Yeah. yeah. Well, it seems like you guys were I mean, having a lot of fun early in the season when you were close in the But did you kind of get back to it? Did you feel that way again tonight? Maybe yeah, it felt like that yesterday in practice. So we knew we were going to come out and play good. And we did that tonight. We started off a little slow in the first half, but we picked it up second half. Uh, I'm I just wondering, how did the guys get that sort of good feeling back yesterday? Just start doing something, training, and make some jobs? So what did you sort of do? do Tired of losing, man, especially with losing at home. Uh, we lost two games since we've been back from the break. I mean, since we've been back from the road trip at home, and we ain't like that feeling. So we knew yesterday, like I said, after practice, we had a good practice. One of the best practices we had all year, and we did the carry over tonight. Chris had a lot of assists to you, especially in that third, in like three straight, I think. What, what was he doing so well? Uh, I, the performance he had tonight was amazing. I've never been a part of like that. I had 20 assists and 20 points. But you know, like, you know what I mean? If they, you come out the pick and roll, um, they're going to have two guys at him, and they're going to ice him and be wide open. So you have to tell him you shoot the ball, don't hesitate. And that's what I was doing. He was, was finding the open gaps, finding me. So shout out to him. And last one. <laughs> Mo, one of those 20 was to you right at the end of the third quarter. It seemed like right after you threw that up, you were already back on the bench. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the Nick Young gift before. Are you, I mean, in that moment, I mean, don't you need to be sure it's going in? Felt good, you know. Especially on that side of the court, my ball kind of like curled that way. Yeah. So I kind of, I didn't know it was good, but I knew it was going to be close. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.